in this video we will see how to embed our copilot into the custom website so in the copilot if you see if you go to the channel here we have custom website so in the custom website when you click the code snippet i can see why because if you go to the setting of the copilot and security there i have enabled the authentication as authenticate manually where i'm authenticating with the uh, client id and secret this manual authentication we have configured okay so currently this application user i have configured in the copilot uh, here the copilot uh, uh, on dnlb path or uh, dnlb authentication this one so this app authentication will authenticate that one so we are this uh, permissions i have granted so this you can see in my previous video so once it is authenticated so then only the code snippet or the, the or we can test it into the demo website those things we can do that if it is authenticated as a uh, microsoft dynamics this this authentication if it is enabled with micro authenticate with microsoft then it will only authenticate for teams and power apps the demo of this one already we have seen but uh, in this video we are going to see with the uh, custom website and what i'm going to achieve is that i will embed this copilot into the custom website and i will try to query something which is connecting to the dataverse so that the user who is authenticating to this copilot if it is having right permissions to access the dataverse then he can query the related records from the dataverse so for that in my previous uh, videos already i have created one topic case related queries where if we ask anything related to this case it will refer to this knowledge source case knowledge source which is nothing but for the dataverse and then it try to get the information from there and response to user so topic is very simple so we'll try to execute this topic after login to copilot here so this is the scenario which we are going to do so for that first of all uh, we need to uh, embed this code i'll close this we need to embed this copilot into the custom website so i'm going to refer this site for the uh, custom website you can imagine this is the html code where the copilot will be loading so here i will copy this one so this is the code snippet generated so i do not need other this part i just need the iframe part so we can copy the iframe part here and we need to put here when you will put here but before that i'm going to make a small change into the uh, uh, style so that i want to load the copilot in, into the full browser here so for that i will just add height as 100 percent and for the iframe also height 100 percent uh, with 100 percent and the border i want one pixel solid default color so very simple a styling like basically i want to load the all the copyright into the full window and here i will delete this paragraph i do not need and this javascript also and then put my iframe snippet which we have copied from this side from this uh, section and once we add that one you will see the copilot will be loading here okay so i will include the html here okay so fine so now you can see the copilot is loading here so it is asking login so i need to log in here so once i log in then it will authenticate me and then i will try to ask any query it should uh, respond to that but currently since uh, the app registration what we have created it in the api permission of that one we have not given permissions to dynamics 365 so that is why if you try to access any queries related to the topic which is uh, the knowledge base uh, which is the dataverse so it should not response me right value right so let me do that let me show you that so i log in here with the uh, user so i'll just input my user id
So once I authenticated, I'll get the co code, I'll copy it and pass here. So it is authenticated. Now, so now, now my copilot is giving the welcome message. So now here, if I'll ask any query, which is related to my, this topic, uh, case related query, then it should respond to that. So for that, I'm going to ask question. I want to get the total number of cases or incidents in Dataverse. So basically, there's only one topic with respect to some query related to this. So it executes that topic. And now uh, it should fail because this there is no, uh, this you the authenticated user is not having permissions to access it, access it. So it will try to escalate it. So to fix it, we need to provide the uh, access. So we'll go to the copilot here. We'll add the permissions of the dataverse. So done with CRM here. So we'll add this permission and grant it. Okay, once it is done, we can publish our copilot. So I'll publish it. So it the publishing and then uh, setting of this one, it might take some time, but once we do that, then uh, uh, we, if you ask any question from the dataverse, it will respond to that. So copilot has been published. So uh, what I'll do, I'll try to ask the same question again. I am doubting it will respond uh, immediately. Just let's check it. I want to get the total number of cases or incident then in data was. Now you can see it is giving two cases. Why? Because if I'll go to my application here, this is my same environment, the environment where I'm developing the copilot. On the dataverse, I have two cases only. So I have only two cases configured. So only those two cases or incident, it is giving me the results in the copilot. So this is how you can configure your copilot for the uh, custom website and you can embed it and you need to give the necessary permissions on the application registration when you try to use it. Suppose if you want to uh, trying to access the SharePoint knowledge base, knowledge source, then you need to enable the file access, uh, file permissions here. So like that, you need to do that. So I hope uh, you understood how to configure the copilot into the custom channel on the custom website and use it and provide the right permission. So, Thank you for watching this video guys.